Hey guys, Zarak here, and today I'm bringing you guys another video, and I'm actually bringing you guys here today on this Friday a new series that I've wanted to start for a while. Um, I did something almost like this a while back, but not in the same way. And basically, what this is going to be is going to be called Free Talk Friday, and it basically is in the name. I'm going to be speaking about loads of random stuff, mostly game related. I don't really want to go into uh, real life issues, news, and stuff like that. Because I have a habit of saying the wrong thing even though I don't mean it that way. And I don't want to offend people. So we're staying really away from the real life stuff. We're going to be focusing more on game news. Most of it will be probably stuff that I'm more interested in. But if I see something on a different game. Then I will definitely say it. Um, but these things, these little podcasts in a sense if you want to say it that way. They're going to be probably between 20 and 40 minutes long, and they're not only going to be for me. I'm going to try and get other people on, whether it be you guys and my friends, such as like Kai, my friend Kieran, if he can get Skype working and stuff. But aside from that, it's going to be, you know, other people than just me um, singularly. So hopefully this is a good series that you guys enjoy. Um, basically, I've been looking at my series such as Hardcore Tips. What makes a game a game and my Pokemon Monster Dungeon series and I'm just going to say right here all those three are scrapped. I'm not going to be continuing them you guys don't seem to enjoy them and there's no real point continuing them if you guys don't want to watch it. Um, I provide the content for you guys to watch if you guys don't watch the videos then what's the point of me even trying. So them three are going to be going this is going to be in a replacement as well as a new series that I don't want to say too much about because I'm not too sure whether it will be happening this week next week whatever week if it will even happen but it should happen and i believe it's going to be a pokemon fan game now i can't remember the name of it i actually have it on my computer but i'm not looking at the moment and my friend kieran sent it to me it is not pokemon uranium that is a twitch stream only playthrough um so if you guys want to go and watch that playthrough you can probably find all my vod's previously but this one is going to be a different one that we're going to play on here. We're going to do a blind run. I don't know anything about the game. I'm pretty sure it's a Pokemon game. I'm not even sure if it's actually a Pokemon fan game. I'm pretty sure it is though. So I know absolutely nothing about it. I'm literally going to check to see whether it's a Pokemon fan game. If it is, I'm going to play it. That's all I'm going to like look at. So it's going to be a completely blind playthrough. You guys can see me fail. You guys can see me laugh at ridiculous sprites or whatever. Uh, and enjoy the game with me because I think with Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky the problem you guys had, uh, or at least I think this is anyway is the game's been out for probably nearly 10 years I think I think it came out in 2007 so 8, 9 years and most of you guys have probably seen it or if you didn't want to watch it you're not going to watch it now so I mean that's the reason that series didn't go so well uh, what I'm kind of thinking is about recording it because uh, I still want to continue that playthrough because I actually don't remember much of that game and I really want to refresh up on it. So I've still got the save file and everything. If you guys want me to uh, upload the video, uh, upload videos of me playing it but without commentary, then let me know. Um, so it would just be the game audio and the game. It won't be any commentary, it won't be any face cam, it won't be anything like that. It's just the game. The reason why I'm saying it in that way is because when I'm actually recording videos, especially at this time of year in the summer, uh, I'm having to turn all my fans and stuff off and it gets extremely hot, extremely sweaty and I'm not actually very good at the Mystery Dungeon games and also I don't really want to embarrass myself by crying on camera like that voice crack there but at the end I'd probably cry and I don't know whether I'd want to end, um, end the series like that and almost make a little bit of a prat of myself so that is what I'm proposing for you guys. If you guys want that, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, Pokemon Monster Dungeon Explorers of Sky will be defunct on this channel, unfortunately. Maybe I'll come back to it. I doubt it, though. So, anyway, we're going to move on to the next topic right here. So, this is just like a bit of a recap for me at the moment. We're going to be going on about streaming real quick. Streaming is going to be on pause for probably around a week. Not sure really of when I'm going to start it again and stuff. The reason for that is I've got college next week and it's going to be my first week of college. I've got a two-week induction, so it's not going to be really too immersive and too hard on. But it's still going to be, you know, new people to meet. I don't know what times I'm going to get home. I don't know how exhausted I'm going to be. I have to walk home as well, 
which is around about an hour walk because my mum doesn't have enough money for the bus fare, which is completely fine. She's going to pay for me to get in there and then I'm going to walk back. So honestly, I don't really know what I'm going to have as time next week. And also next week will probably be the last day I'll be going to my father's, unfortunately, um, which was on a Friday night to a Saturday afternoon. So that also frees up that little bit of time, but obviously that might be for coursework. And then next month that will also be for part-time work. So that's my updates on um, for side. That is all that done. And now I'm going to move in to what I have in the title here, which is Pokemon Sun and Moon news. Now, there wasn't really too much, uh, hence why I didn't make a video yesterday when it actually came out. But that was a stream. It was primarily 3DS. I didn't really like look at it because uh, I was actually out having a haircut at the time. But I got my friend to um, got my friend Kieran to tell me what it is. Uh, basically, we have a Alolan Rotata uh, with Gluttony and Hustle, um, when it's a dark normal type. But that's basically all it shows. It shows you a little picture here. I'll put it on the screen. And to be honest, it looks pretty cool. I kind of can see it being a bit of a nuisance in the game. I feel like that's what they're going to try and do. They're going to make it like really realistic and have them as like proper rodents. Where they're just going to be so annoying. And you're going to have to do like little mini games to get rid of them. A bit like how you throw the um, fish in. I can't remember what its bloody name is because it's not the Japanese name. Uh, it's not the English name, sorry. It's a Japanese name. So, I think that's what it's going to be like. It looks okay. It looks kind of like a shiny. I'm not sure what shiny Rattata actually looks like. But that kind of reminds me of a shiny uh, Pokemon in the colours there. Um... And then it also says there's a special Munchlax, which comes with um, Snorlium X, a special Snorlax Z-move, pulverizing pancake, which I found absolutely hilarious, because obviously it's a big fat Pokemon. Um, and that'll be distributed until January the 11th. It knows uh, moves of Holdback and Happy Hour. Um, to be honest with this, it kind of looks quite cool that they're actually given Z-moves to other Pokemon here. But I'm just going to say right now because I don't know whether people have picked up on it. I know people have picked up on it on a Lowland Pokemon, but I don't think they've really picked up on it on Z moves because obviously we didn't know any Z moves were going to be really significant um, and new. I think that if there's any Z moves that are significant and different and original, like this one, Pulverize and Pancake, it's only going to be for Gen 1 Pokemon. And that's the same with the Lowland forms. I think Lowland forms are only going to be Gen 1 Pokemon. I don't think it's going to be anything else. And the reason for that is I think because it's the 20th year, they want to spruce it up, they want to, you know, bring back, in a sense, Gen 1 with Gen 7 in there. So I feel like they're trying to actually make it more Gen 1 with Gen 7 on top than Gen 7 with Gen 1 on top, uh, if that makes any sense. I mean, they had obviously Pokemon Go that came out this year, 20-year anniversary. So I just feel like it's going to be a bit like that. Um, so that's really all there is on the Sun and Moon news at the moment. Uh, there's going to be new ones on September the 6th, which is Tuesday. It's actually going to be at 2pm my time, which unfortunately I will be still in college most likely. So that video is going to be coming up a little bit late. I feel like there's going to be a bit of big news in this one because the stream that was today didn't really like say there was any Pokemon Sun and Moon news, whereas they've said that there will be Sun and Moon news on the 6th. So I feel like it's going to be something big, so I apologise that it'll, it'll be a little bit late. Probably around 5, 6 o'clock my time, um, British Standard Time. Um, so around about midday to, what, no, 1pm to 11am I think it is, covering all American time zones. I'm not really sure. And then obviously 7pm uh, GMT for all the rest of the European people. And then I don't know any other time zones than that, so I do apologise for that. But that video will be going up then. So moving on to something still very Pokemon related, and we are actually going to be speaking about Pokemon Go. Um, so Pokemon Go, a lot of people are probably stop um, starting to stop play it now. Uh, it's getting a bit stale, and I do agree with that. I'm still playing it, but very minimally. Uh, I basically play it to walk to the actual real life gym, not a um, Pokemon gym, an actual gym with weights and everything. Um, and then walk back because it's about three kilometers each way, so I normally hatch an egg. 
in that distance. So that's basically the only reason I'm playing the game at the moment. Uh, I've got 82 Pokemon, I believe, 82 unique Pokemon. So I'm near that 100 mark, but even then, people have already completed the whole 141 or 142, whichever it is, including region exclusives. And then some people are even get um, hatching eggs like frantically to get the region exclusives from other places. So at the moment, it's getting a bit stale, but... And this is where there is a big, big, big but. Next week, or at least I believe it's next week, there's going to be an update. I believe they do bi-weekly updates, which is either two a week or every two weeks. But I believe that they do them every two weeks. I might be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure it's every two weeks. And last week, uh, well, the week, you, um, yeah, I believe it's last week, there was actually an update. So next week should be the update. But... The last update, they implemented some code that some of you guys might have seen other videos on. I saw one uh, from, I think it was Twin Nintendo or Twin Tendo, however you pronounce his name. I don't really watch him. It just came up on my recommended, and I was like, ooh, that's, you know, interesting. And they are actually putting codes for legendary battles um, for, I think it was trading, and then also for customization to a gym, which is a bit interesting. So... Could it be that we're now about to get our legendary Pokemon this week, now coming, and we can actually trade with other people? I think that'd be pretty cool. I think it'll bring some of the fan base back. The thing that people aren't realizing, because uh, there's this whole, oh, Pokemon Go's declining, blah, blah, blah. It's gone from near 50 million to um, just over 30 million, I think, people. 30 million is still a hell of a lot of people. And then also, you've got to think about it. Pokemon Go had so much hype around it that a lot of people that had never played Pokemon played it. Not very many people who would do that are going to stick around. They're going to see, oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, this is now boring and still Pokemon. Whereas, you're now going to be like limited to the diehard Pokemon fans. Obviously, you had a bit of a purge due to the... Uh, removal of the tracking system for a little bit and even then still people complain about the new sightings one which I actually find completely fine I really enjoy it um, and it makes me hunt and I've got a couple of Pokemon from it. I think I got a pincer from it a Porygon from it a war turtle from it and a Grimer I can't remember whether I got any more Pokemon um, but those four from the sightings hunting but that was all in one day funny enough um, Awkward phone going off is awkward. I apologise that you heard that. I probably should have put that on silent. Because I'm stupid and I completely forgot about that. So, sorry about that if I just blew your ears off with my phone just then. But, yeah, so I think Pokemon Go is going to be almost like coming back in style next week. And then they're also hinting and saying that apparently Gen 2 is coming out at the end of September. So that's going to be pretty cool as well as breeding, I think they said. So Pokemon Go has a lot to look forward to and I'm quite um, excited about it. I've actually just brought a new phone so I can play it a little bit better because my HTC crashes a lot. Uh, but I needed a new phone anyway because this HTC sucks. But I end up buying a Motorola G4. I believe I'm getting it on Saturday. It cost me £160. Um, so it wasn't too expensive. It's not a super super expensive phone it's not like the iPhones and all that and the Samsung Galaxy 7s I think they're on to now I don't know I don't really pay attention to the high-end phones because I ain't got that type of money so yeah we're gonna see what Pokemon Go comes to in the next couple of weeks I think that's gonna be pretty pretty exciting moving on now to something a little bit less Pokemon related in fact not Pokemon related at all uh, we're going to be speaking about the Battlefield 1 beta. Now, from the open beta, I can't really say about closed beta, but from open beta, it's been three days now. I'm actually recording this on Thursday, so it's only been two, because uh, it came out on the 31st, and obviously it's the first on Thursday of the day I'm recording this, and then second on Friday. And Battlefield 1 beta is pretty cool. Now, I've played Battlefield for about three hours in total. Uh, actually, no, four hours in total now, sorry. Uh, two on the beta, and then two on Battlefield 4. And if you guys didn't see, I did upload um, a little Battlefield mini Targe type thing on Wednesday, on the first day. And it wasn't really like anything like super special. I don't want you guys to go think it's something absolutely amazing. It's not. 
It was just basically a nice streak and then a couple of good quick scopes because the sniping is so different on there compared to Call of Duty that I was getting hyped over quick scopes. But there was a couple of nice shots on there. I will say that. And also the soundtrack behind that is amazing, which if you guys know that was from Pokemon, um, Super Mystery Dungeon, you guys are amazing. But anyway, <laughs> moving on from a little bit of a self-pledge there. So the Battlefield 1 Bay Area isn't um, too bad, actually. Uh, I've always been a COD fanboy previously, and then Black Ops 3 killed that, and then Infinite Warfare buried it, pretty much. Um, so I'm looking for a new FPS to play this year because I haven't really got anything new to play this year and I think Battlefield 1 is probably going to be my go-to it actually was quite enjoyable to play obviously we still got like six days five days or something like that I think it ends on September the 8th I believe they said so still got a hell of a long way to go until it finishes but I found it quite enjoyable it's pretty difficult for me because I'm so used to Call of Duty so used to fast pace that playing a bit slower is a little bit um, hard for me I mean I'm having to camp on cliffs that normally I would never do and you, then you got to think about bullet range and oh I, I can't if any of you guys are stuck here to this point I really hope you have and you've played Battlefield before if you're using a scout rifle or sniper rifle if there was someone let's say 224 meters let's say do you use the 150 meter or the 300 meter like I don't know how to use the sniper properly and it drives me insane uh, the amount of times I think, oh, that bullet's here, and it didn't. So, yeah, that's basically the gist of Battlefield 1 beta. The tanks are overpowered at the moment, in my opinion, but I've never played any Battlefield, so I have no idea if that's supposed to be that way. But when you get spawn killed one shot through a cliff from a... Actually, it won't. Well, it was technically through a cliff. It technically wasn't. Uh, you could just about see my head, but if he can get a rocket launcher shot from a tank up there... That was ridiculous. So I must have died from the blast radius. Um, that was ridiculous. I think I got spawn trapped. and Like, I had three games. And I went 14 and 6 or 14 and 7. And then 21 and 14, which is the streak um, game you saw on that uh, mini Taj. And then I went something like 5 and 18 before I quit. Because it was just spawn kill, spawn kill, and spawn kill. So, I haven't really experimented much with any of the other classes. I've used, I think, support for a bit, and I didn't mind it, but the guns were a little bit weak. Uh, I find them, like, really weak. I don't know whether it's just me not aiming right or whatever. So, I've just got to get used to it. I think it's going to be a fun game to play and possibly buy. I'm not sure how expensive it is. And even when the release date is, I actually have no idea on anything, really. Uh, I just... For you know, I'd never played a World War One shooter. I only played Battlefield for about two hours. I'll give it another shot, and it wasn't too bad. So let's see whether anything else comes of it. Obviously, you're probably seeing gameplay in the background right now. And I can't really comment on maps. I don't even know if I'm actually going to be replaying any of the uh, game that I had um, done on yesterday's video of what makes a game a game, because the maps all look the same to me. They're all like really dusty and stuff. Uh, I don't even know if there's any different maps in there. And I was just playing Rush, I believe it's called. So it's basically not really going to look different. But I promise that it is different games. Maybe until the latter parts of the video, depending on how long this goes on for. And then it might be the first gameplay again. I'm not sure. I've hopefully got enough gameplay um, to be all original. So I think that's it for Battlefield at the moment. Um, really all I can say I'm gonna keep playing it if you guys want more like mini targets and stuff like that if I keep sniping and whatnot just let me know and I can do, even do live comms on it if you guys want me to I'm completely open to that because I thought it was pretty fun a uh, pretty fun game to play so I think moving on to the final topic I've really got on this video um, on top of my head I'm not sure if I've got any more but we're gonna be moving into some Call of Duty stuff here and if you guys pay attention to Call of Duty you'll know exactly what I'm going to be speaking about Call of Duty XP now Call of Duty XP or should I just say Call of Duty Championships because that's the only bit obviously I'm in, uh, interested in is the biggest tournament of the year and in fact the biggest tournament I think ever at the moment unless you count X Games um, but Call of Duty Championships this year has a 2 million prize pool rather than a 1 million 
So I'm not sure how the prize pool goes down, but I believe it's going to be 800,000 for the winning team. So that's 200,000 for the winning uh, for a winning player. Um, obviously, then you got to tax it, and so I think it goes down to like 130 odd um, thousand, which is still ridiculous uh, for a weekend of Call of Duty. And obviously, I'm supporting Optic here. I'm an Optic fanboy, so come on, Green Wall. My ideal final, I don't think it will happen, but my ideal final would be an Optic Splice final with it going to round 11 and then I don't care who wins out of that because Splice is my favourite European team and then Optic is my favourite NA team. So that would be really, really good for me, but obviously I expect probably an Optic MV final as most people would. So we're going to see how that plays out. It starts actually yesterday. It started yesterday on Thursday. Obviously today is Thursday for me. And it goes all the way through till Sunday. So that's going to be pretty cool to watch. Obviously, like I said, support an optic in this. But I'm going to watch all the games, be quite interested in it. Unfortunately, it's not in Britain. So I can't really go to it and stuff. And anyway, I think you have to be 18 to actually enter anyway. But they've got like Newtown Paintball there. They've got... Infinite Warfare and COD 4 Remastered. Obviously, I would only go to COD 4 Remastered. And I think they have something else there. Oh, yeah, they have um, Axe. Um, like, Singing Axe. I think they had some, like... They had two rappers, I think. Wiz Khalifa and someone else. I can't remember who the last one was. Uh, the second one was. So, that's def definitely going to be something that I'm going to be watching this weekend. So, to really wrap up guys, I'm just going to wrap this video up here, it's a pretty long video, and I think I could probably speak more next week, I'm not sure, I'll probably get someone else on, just uh, like maybe Kai or something to speak about anything to do with Spike, because I believe there's a new Spike God coming out, or Goddess I think she is actually, so any of you guys that are interested in Smite, you can go um, watch next week's episode, I'll see if I can get Kai on here to discuss that a little bit. So... Anyway guys, this has been Zarek. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, leave a like down below. Uh, let me know whether you guys want me to keep the series, whether you think it's entertaining, and what do you think I can do to improve it, because it's a really bare bones idea at the moment. I want to do it a bit like a podcast, but my webcam isn't really good at the moment. I'm, gonna tr I'm trying to get a new webcam. I've found one that's around about £50, and so when I'm streaming, I'm going to pro probably do a GoFundMe. And hope that people donate um, even the littlest amounts just to push me closer to that webcam. And that will be awesome. And then I won't have any of the bad frame rate, bad lighting and all that. Because this camera sucks. So anyway guys, this has been Zark. Hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next video on Monday. Peace out.